get you, baby. They're gonna put you away. <laughs> The focus of this project was to explore the use of quantization methods to create punk rock performances in the box that groove. Discussions regarding the emergence of digital recording technologies highlight suggestions that contemporary editing techniques, quantization processes and conformity to machine time are responsible for removing nuances from recordings of certain genres. Now we know that when creating a record performances must be refined and improved, but it's important to acknowledge that a balance must be achieved and determining the quality of a performance based on its timing consistency is a sliding scale. Straying too far in either direction can have a negative impact. This project aimed to explore alternative methods of quantization to provide in-the-box producers with a method to reinstate and precisely control the microtemporal variations representative of human performances and essential in creating groove. To do this, the following research question and sub-questions were proposed. The data collection process was divided into discovery phases. These were designed to aid the development of what is referred to herein as the punk time method, which defines the production techniques used in the recording process for the punk rock EP, which is the main artifact of this project. This process provided an opportunity to explore the application of theories on groove in practice, experimenting with methods of creating time deviations to achieve a sense of swing, and what Butterfield refers to as push and pull. To extend and validate the knowledge that was gained by applying theory, the specific details of human timing needed to be explored. The effect various devices have on human timing accuracy highlighted that an ability to play worse but sound better is a rare skill, and most importantly, it proved that imitating this quality would become the crux of the punk time method and the salient element which this project strived to pinpoint. Furthermore, an analysis of gestures was conducted to identify drum performances with the highest propensity for groove. A sequence of photographs was extracted, identifying the movement repertoire, and the performances were systematically compared by analysing the frequency of gestures against the number of mistakes, embellishments and subjective perception of groove. This process enabled important rhythmical information to be applied directly to MIDI and audio performances in the box by extracting groove templates with the use of Pro Tools' Beat Detective software. To ensure the punk time method would reflect the genuine characteristics of punk rock recordings, Audionamics' software Extracts was used to create stems from the stereo mixes using AI algorithms. The analysis revealed salient trends that formed the unique metabolism of punk rock bands. This antagonistic relationship is described best as a paradoxical cooperation in which the individual members of the band are seen to be doing their own thing but accommodating each other at the same time. A high-level overview of the analysis shows bass performances that are consistently ahead of the beat, drum performances that fluctuate in and out of time, and guitars that, despite exhibiting timing inconsistencies, remain cohesive with the drums. This is reflected by the way the punk time method facilitates three individual personalities that work against and for each other simultaneously. The diagram is mirrored exactly by the rhythmical positioning of the band shown here in the DAW after the punk time method has been applied. The process of applying the method is best described by looking at the precise way groove is created using quantization to create micro timing deviations that have a particular effect on rhythmical events. The offset grid by parameter shifts beats forwards or backwards by a specified number of ticks. The sensation of rushing ahead was shown to be a key characteristic of punk rock. Therefore, offsetting events negatively achieves the push feel, whereas a pulled or dragging sensation can be achieved by offsetting beats positively. The swing function enhances the triplet feel of performances by shifting events by every other grid point, with 12% achieving a light swing feel, 24% producing a tighter swing-like groove, and 50 to 75% creating a true triplet-like swing feel. Timing inconsistencies were shown to be prominent in punk rock drum fills, hi-hats, and guitar performances. The randomized function emulates these timing irregularities by randomly shifting events either forwards or backwards by the specified percentage value. Now let's see how the punk time method applies these parameters to reflect the unique metabolism of punk rock bands.
following tracks from the punk rock era were recorded for this project. The extracted stems enabled the details of performances to be analysed and recreated exactly as they were performed on the original recording. The guitar, bass and vocals were recorded, whereas the drums were programmed manually to ensure a faithfulness to the original track. Well, you tried it just for once, found it all right for kicks But now you found out that it's a habit that sticks And you're an orgasm addict You're an orgasm addict Sneaking in the back door with dirty magazines And your mother wants to know what other stains on the jeans You're an orgasm addict You're an orgasm addict Considering the recordings were created with invariable tempos, the impact of the punk time method can be heard clearly, with the rhythmical deviations, imperfections and staggered method of layering resulting in a considerable feeling of push and pull. Additionally, the illusion of a fluctuating tempo is created and a sense of rushing and dragging is prominent. But whilst the method was based on an analysis of punk rock recordings and their characteristics, the hope is that producers of any genre could find the method useful in creating records with individuality, vibrancy and groove. <laughs>